Hey guys, welcome back to Panzer Guns and Ammo. Today we're going to do a uh, unboxing of my new range bag, the 511 uh, handgun range bag. Here is the box. So um, I gotta say, so I bought this at Cabela's uh, Canada online. Uh, even during the uh, COVID-19 crisis, uh, I must say, I bought it last week, so barely like a weekend before the uh, last Wednesday, if I remember, so less than a week, and uh, the package got delivered this morning. So, uh, today's Monday. Um, so, yeah, super, super happy with the fast service. Um, so, we'll go ahead and overall, right from the get-go, it does look kind of nice. Uh, nice outside box. So, let's see what's in there. As we look inside, got the Cabela's uh, nice little uh, receipt. We have so it looks like they just use one box to package this. I'll put the camera down so we can take it out of there. And they just like wrapped it all around. In uh, plastic, there's a rip here in the plastic. Not a big deal if the da if the if the, if the bag is actually not damaged. Looks in good. Otherwise, it looks in good condition. So let's take a peek where the package was ripped. I don't see anything, so let's actually unwrap it. This is what the bag looks like. Looks pretty nifty. Uh, it is a fairly sizable bag, guys. So it's 24 uh, inches long, 16 wide, and 10 deep. I'll give you a close up on this little thing here. Can post frame it. 511 usually does good quality bags. So I'm gonna go ahead and like delve in a little bit deeper into what's in the bag. One thing about the bag that made me like kind of, I wasn't sure if I was going to buy it or not, was the fact that it does not have uh, any lockable zipper per se. Because here in Canada, to carry your handguns, uh, you, they need to be locked in a se separate container plus a trigger lock. So uh, I think I'm going to remove these things here because if we look in there, I think you can actually store a handgun in here. Uh, you could put one right here. Okay, so as we, as I was saying, so here you have your, um, your, little, your little gun pouch, if you want to call it, um, uh, where you can put your magazine. There's like a pouch right here in the bottom, uh, in the back, sorry, where you can put a handgun, uh, like so. I brought some magazine and some handguns to test this out. So say I take my Jericho, wait, and I put it, oops, sorry, I didn't see this, but take my Jericho, so you could fit, fit very well in the back here, so this is a sub uh, compact gun. I got a full size Beretta uh, M93 here. If we put this one see here, yep, see how that fits perfectly. So now I can put my uh, magazine, so I got my Jer Jericho magazines there. Well, I guess we put like so. So you can put those and then, so say, we close it back up. There you go. This is what I'm saying, right? So I'm going to remove. So what I'll do is like cut down, 
cut those two lanyard off and go get myself a one of them like uh, cable lock you can buy it wherever and I'll, I'll use this compartment as my uh, lock compartment So what else do we have in bag? So let's look at this uh, side pouch here. So okay, just just a pouch. Um, I mean, it's decent side again. Uh, let's compare. I got my gun, my Beretta here to compare. Could, you know, you could yeah, you can fit a bear, Beretta in there. Um, not that's not where I would put my gun, but it's just to for size comparison. Um, okay, what else do we have? So in the main pouch, right here, so in the main pouch, what do we have? We have this uh, incorporated um, lanyard here, and inside we got this nice little bag, which we'll take a peek afterwards. What else do you have? You have like uh, another pouch here, another padded pouch here. Where is I'm suppose where you're supposed to put your handguns because uh, they're like nice and padded up there. But like I said, I don't think there's a way for me to lug this conveniently. So my gun probably gonna go in the first pouch that I show you guys. Ah, uh, so what else do we have? So, so we have this one here. You can put like a, uh, a water bottle or something. And then you got another little pouch where you can put your earplugs, sunglasses, whatever else you want to bring in your range bag. And uh, we have this uh, side pocket, which I assume probably looks similar to the other one. In fact, it is actually... Oh no, we are... Sorry. I've already seen that one. And you got these two side pockets here. Which uh, come kind of halfway down here. Can look inside uh, again. I'll put my full size Beretta in to see. So, see it fits in there uh, for size comparison. Now, what else do we have in there? Nothing actually. There's just yeah, there's nothing special about these pouches. And if uh, we look at the other one. Now, that could be another possibility, again, as uh, we saw on the other one. I could cut those and use those to uh, put my gun, because they are actually uh, padded. So, uh, and they're padded from the inside also, so I could very well put my handguns in there, uh, likely so. And I, I guess that would be fine. So if there's another possibility. I might actually, might actually do that with... Uh, with one of them, because I do have multiple handguns, so, and on the first box I'll show you guys on this side, here, uh, you kind of only put, it is wide, but putting two guns in there uh, would be problematic, uh, it'd be like grinding and touching, which would not be ideal. Alright, so here we have the, uh, the other little bag that was in there, um, you can see, it's kind of a rectangle, it does have its own, uh, well, handles if you want. You can even put the big strap, the shoulder strap that came with the bag around this one if you so wishes. Uh, inside, what do we have? We have three compartments uh, with one removable. That is your uh, brass, uh, your brass bag. Uh, also in here, you have uh, the like the three compartment. You do have some Velcro inside. The main purpose of the Velcro is to move those compartments around if you want. So. You also have, I don't know if you can see in the camera, but you have two zipper pockets here. Very, uh, very slim. I'm not sure uh, what you would put in there unless you want to, you know, secure like small uh, tools or, or rings or, you know, stuff of the sort in there. You have two of them. But I mean, as soon as you put anything significant in size in there, you're going to kind of take onto your, your comp compartment size uh, space. Um, so very good thing about this bag is that everything seems to be padded everywhere so uh, very nice because I mean you know like me range range gear is very expensive guns are expensive the last thing I want to do is like bang them unnecessarily or damage it unnecessarily uh, oh look 
actually, I don't know if you guys can see, uh, you actually have a uh, it's hole if there's like debris or water or whatever else uh, stuck in your uh, cartridge case, empty cartridge case when you put them there. Or you can put something else, I guess. Hmm. The sky's the limit. A pretty, pretty nifty bag. All in all, very impressed with the my first impression of this bag. Uh, just taking it out of the box. Uh, a plus uh, for shipping and packaging from Cabela's. Everything was perfect. Came in fast. I actually got this one on special last week. There was a 25% uh, off on all uh, uh, 511 gear. So that was good. I was very happy. It's the first time I saw this bag on special. Because it is a fairly expensive bag, i got to say. But look at the size of this thing. It's uh, it's huge. Uh, I bring a lot of gear. I had another... I have another range bag. Uh, it's a two... Uh, uh, it's for rifles and shotguns, uh, and that thing was overpacked. I needed something else for my handguns. This is gonna be perfect because I don't bring my rifles all the time. So now I'll be I'll be able to just like leave home with this bag. I just need to modify it so I'm uh, I kind of adhere to the uh, Canadian rules for transportation of handguns. But otherwise, all my gear is gonna fit in there. It's gonna be perfect. Plenty of compartment. Can't wait to actually uh, you know fill it up with all the fill it up with all my range gear and uh, see what it looks like uh, like again a uh, very good first impression on the bag I uh, can't wait to see how it old, holds up to uh, bring it in and out of the car and out to the range and all that stuff it's made of 600 denier polyester uh, this stuff is usually pretty resilient it is padded throughout like I, I am impressed by how much padding this bag has like seriously it's, it's pretty neat I'm hoping it don't say here I hope it, I'm thinking it's probably rain resistant. I wouldn't leave this in the rain for too long, but uh, um, I mean, that's all I need. Uh, I'm not gonna go and shoot all day if it's freaking, you know, leave my gear in the rain all day if, if it's raining hard. So uh, I don't have a problem with that. And yeah. All right, guys, if you, I hope you enjoyed this footage of the, the 511 uh, range bag. Guys, please uh, leave comments, like the video if you like it, subscribe to my channel. Uh, I like to, I mean, <laughs> I'm not sponsored by anyone, I'm not sponsored by Cabela's, uh, uh, or anybody else for that matter, so I don't get new gears too often, but uh, I do, I'll do unboxing when I get the uh, ammo or, or gear for that matter. Um, I do enjoy the sport, I am a, a gun enthusiast. And I like talking about it, so yeah, uh, leave me comments and uh, maybe tell me what you'd like to see in my next videos. Alright, Suspenser Guns and Ammo, uh, stay safe everybody, and uh, I'll see you next time.